Hello again. All right. For you this evening, I have a massive shop go haul. So this circular came in the mail yesterday, and there were a couple things in here that I saw and wanted to get because I've been looking for them for quite a few years, um, probably since I left Wisconsin, and the price was just never right until now. And so one of the things was this contour pillow, Body Solutions Contour Pillow for $19.88. And the regular price is $54.99. And another was um, the deodorant for $3.88. And that doesn't sound like a spectacularly great price, but um, it's normally like four, five, six dollars at Walgreens or CVS or something. And there were two other things that I thought were in the ad, but maybe it was just similar items. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I have here, I think I saw in the ad uh, beach totes. And so this isn't the one that I saw in the ad, but it's the one I got. Um, this is Sun and Sand. Um, original price was $40. I think this was $15 something. Um, so it's just really big. And then it has a cell phone pocket on the inside. And also like another little um, zipper pocket. That you could put your wallet or ID or whatever keys in so it doesn't get lost in the bottom of the bag. And so this does not match with my swimming suit or my beach towel, but I thought it was the neatest looking bag there. And then it's kind of like a faux wicker fabric, so I don't think that it will um, pick up the dirt as much as maybe some other fabrics would. Now this, I don't think was in the ad, especially not for the price that I got it for. Um, and I'll look in the receipt and see what the regular price was, but this is one of those eggshell um, mattress pad toppers. And this was $19.99, somewhere around there, like $20. And I seriously have been trying to get one of these. <laughs> um, Especially since I got a new mattress and box spring in bed last year. Um, but I've been looking for one before that and the prices were always outrageous. They only had the memory foam. They were like $150, $200. And I'm like, I just want the eggshell. I don't need memory foam. So finally, the price was right. So here is the pillow. It, this is memory foam, and this is a contour pillow. Um, so this was $20, and it's a little bit more. Um, the last memory foam contour pillow that I got, I got um, way back in like 2006. Um, and I have another memory foam one that I got like in 2009. And the one I got in 2006 was like on super clearance at Kohl's when they had like their dorm you know, decorating back to school, college, dorm sale. And it was only $10 or $11 at the time. And the one I got at Kohl's was like $45. Ah, email! So for $20, and the regular price on this was like $55, um, I'm like, yes, and I cannot wait to make my bed tonight. I'm trying out the new pillow and the eggshell. I'm probably like not going to want to get up in the morning. So the other thing that I went specifically there to get, besides the deodorant, which is buried in one of the bags, was this um, like bacon take. And so um, I go to a lot of like picnics or cookouts or... Um, 
potluck type things um, with my hiking, biking friends, which I've been kind of trying to avoid this summer because we will see what our, our car camping adventure is this week. And um, because there's, there's too much good food and it's not stuff that I typically normally eat, if left to my own devices, I actually eat um, pretty healthfully and don't eat like any processed food and you know maybe it's not really low fat but I eat a lot of fruit and um, then I don't really eat meat when left to my own devices and I kind of try to you know have something healthier for dinner with vegetables or like baked potatoes or something like that um, under the influence of others, however, um, I'll go for, you know, pie, cake, cookies, pasta salad, a uh, big casserole. So anyways, this is a glass dish. I think it's 9 by 13. Um, and it has a cold or hot pack in here. I'm not sure how this works as a hot pack. Um, and then the bag is insulated. And I've just been kind of looking for, some, you know, the lid is not, this is not the highest quality. Um, I think the regular price on this was like $35 or $40, and I got it for $12. So for $12, you know, I've been looking for one of these for like the last two summers. Um, I am totally down with it for $12. If it only lasts for a couple years... I'm fine with that. Um, I think that the bag and the glass pan will last much longer than that. I'm not sure about the lid or the, you know, hot cold pack, but I am quite pleased. Alright, so now we're into the goodies. So some of the stuff I got was stuff that I'm running low on or need anyway, and some of it was just like pure impulse, like, okay, for that price, or it's so super cute. Um, so, I'm like down to, you know, maybe 25 cotton balls left. Um, so I got another bag of cotton balls. These weren't on sale, but I figured I was there and they were an, they were an all right price. Um, I think it was $2.30 for 200 jumbo cotton balls. And then I got a box of, uh, Legs Everyday Knee Highs. And so I used up the last box I got. These were like $5.59 with 10% off, so then they were like $5, so that's like 50 cents a pair, and I use these as liner socks for um, when I do field work and for when I do hiking. Um, they're cheaper than liner socks, I don't really even know how much liner socks are, um, you know, maybe like $20 a pair, so they don't last super long, I probably can wear them you know, 10 to 20 times before you bust out the toe in them. Um, it doesn't matter if you're wearing them as liner socks, if they get runs in them, which, depending on what kind of terrain I'm in, if I'm going cross country instead of on a trail, um, <laughs> and I'm in chaparral, yeah, they're going to get runs in them the first time I wear them. But they're not really for, um, you know, nylons, like dress. So, since I have such a long inseam, I don't typically wear dress pants ever because they're really hard to find. Um, I'm trying to think. It's not Land's End. It was some, I know, Newport News used to have tall dress pants. Um, I'm not really sure where you would get them besides that. Um, I know I can get uh, tall jeans at the buckle, and I think Just Fab, if you join Just Fab, they also now have uh, jeans with like 34, 35, 36 inch inseams, and that's about where I'm at, it's about 35 inch inseam. So I never wear pants, and when I wear skirts, in the winter I typically wear tights under them, or um, full nylons. I don't really wear knee highs. Um, I don't have very many skirts or dresses that are long enough that I could wear knee highs with. Um, 
And then I got white out because I don't have any and I needed some for uh, some of the stuff I was working on at home and didn't have any. I got two more uh, Pilot gel ink pens. Um, purple because you can't buy refills for the purple ink and I used up my last purple pen um, last week. Those were not on sale. I also got off uh, clip-on refills for the little, uh, it's a little thing that you wear and then you put it in and it releases some kind of gas that helps keep mosquitoes away. It's not mosquito proof. It, it does help I think. I think it works better than like the citronella um, things that you can wear. I think it works better than, uh, there's different essential oils that you can use as insect repellent. So I have geranium oil, I have pennyroyal oil, and wintergreen oil, and those are all supposed to be insect repellent, and I've worn those just straight. I've worn them mixed together, you know, all three together, two together, by themselves, mixed in with coconut oil, like make a lotion with coconut oil, with essential oil. Um, it doesn't work as good as like the 100% DEET. Um, but you really don't want to put that on your skin. It's an endocrine disruptor, and I think it does cause problems, especially if you're using it on a regular basis. Like, if you're just going to use it, like, one weekend a year when you go hunting or something, then fine. But if you're using it, like, every night, um, <laughs> that's not so good. So these last for up to two weeks and up to 12 hours per thing. And they're kind of pricey because you, like, if you're outside all the time and you actually use it, you know, then you're going to be using a new one every, um, well, so here's the, I, I was going to open this up, but then, you know, you start. So maybe if you're interested in seeing how this off clip-on thing works, uh, Put a comment below and I'll do a video of the off clip on thing. It's kind of like my favorite go to insect repellent. And, you know, I think it works for mosquitoes and no Um, We don't really have flies or ticks around here. I don't think it really works for ticks because they like fall on you and um, you need permethrone or DEET for that. So here's the deodorant I got. Um, I got Secret. And this is a new scent that I've never had before. It's called Truth or Pear. And it doesn't really smell. I mean, it smells like pears, but I can't really compare it to any other perfume or fragrance product I've ever had. It's just like a really clean scent with a little bit of fruitiness. Um, so then I got these earrings. Um, they're kind of like an orangey color with like orange rhinestones and then this corally orange stone in the middle. And I just thought these were fabulously cute. Um, their regular price was $20 and they were on clearance for $6. So I'll just try those on right now. This is like so ethical. I was actually really pleased. Like, um... Everything in ShopGo right now, I mean, not everything, but they're having this huge sale where it's the lowest prices of the season, and I think it's actually really good prices on a lot of stuff. I would not, um, there you go, they're so cute. They don't match the shirt, but I like them. Um, they're not, don't, don't buy clothes at ShopGo, like, they're hideously low quality. Not that the clothes are hideous. I didn't see anything that was that great, but like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't buy that stuff for more, like anything that I saw clothing wise in the store, I would not pay more than like $7.50 for any item of clothing there. Um, so maybe depending on where you live, you can find <laughs> something that will work for you that's on clearance, because they have like 60, 75% off clearance. But, um, no, I don't, they, like, the regular price on some of the hoodies, like, sweatshirts was $50. I'm like, for $50, I better be getting, like, some Puma or Triple Five Soul 
Hill or something. Yeah, not Northcrest. Come on, man. Um, then I got an OPI nail polish. And you can see a uh, regular OPI price. That's pretty typical. And it was on clearance for two twelve. It's the color Skyfall. And so this is a really like brown, brownie red. Um, and I'll just save that for fall. I like wearing colors like that in fall. And then um, a nail polish lasts forever, almost. Um, so I'm sure it'll be fine for this fall. And probably the next two or three years after that, even though people say you're supposed to throw all your makeup out after a year. Uh, nail polish and mineral powders, I don't play by that rule. And then I got this other nail polish that I can't even see the brand on anymore. I thought I saw it in the store. But um, this was on clearance for $1.74. It's probably not high-end um, if its regular price was $2.49. But it's kind of this like dark... Uh, Red, brownish goldish red and then it has like a gold shimmer gold glitter in it so again I thought that would be great for like fall and winter and yeah don't worry there's still more all right these were my total and complete impulse buy um there are these jars so yeah nothing exciting there except the color and since like my bedroom kind of um, is definitely high on the turquoise and the lime green color. Ooh, that's not showing up in the camera, the color it is. It's like this really intense lime green, like it matches my shirt and my earrings, but it just looks kind of washed out and whoa, almost clear. Um, so it, I got more of those too. So I also got them in the larger size and then they had like soda bottles also but I didn't think like I couldn't think of any utilitarian purpose for having the soda bottles and I didn't think they were that like cute for decorating. Um, so these are either gonna end up um, in my bathroom because I'm trying to do this color also as a theme in my bathroom. So I have like a little bowl and then I have like a, a kind of like vase or jar. It's kind of like this that I'm using for my pencil holder. Um, I don't know if that, I don't think that made it in one of my thrift hauls, but it's kind of like that and I'm using that for uh, makeup brushes and, and brushes that I don't use very often, like hair brushes. And then I have like this little round ceramic thing that has like primers in it and eye makeup remover. So I, I might put these in my bathroom too. We'll see. Um, and I think the large jars were $3.99 and the smaller ones were $3.49. And the regular price was like 6 or $7 and 7 or $8 on these. Um, if you want to know the, the prices on any of these items, then just leave a comment and um, I can let you know. Some of them don't have price tags on them and I don't really want to go look at my receipt while I'm doing this. And then I saw these. They're like not that great of a price. The regular price was $26.99. And they were on sale for $16.99. But they're uh, brown canvas wedges. Um, and so I think, you know, $17 is not that bad of a price to pay for shoes. And if they only last through the summer, then that's fine. Um, I got them kind of specifically to go with the dress that I got off um, Etsy. Um, from Hesitant Smile. Because I I really only have, um, well now I have a pair of black mules um, that was given to me. But when I got the dress I only had the Chacos and like a pair of black sandals. And this I think 
fits with the dress much better. They're kind of like 1950s-ish shoes. And they also have these um, in slingbacks in black and white polka dot or like an off black um, with white polka dot and like an, a faded out red. And I thought they were super cute. They were a little bit more difficult to walk in. And I almost got them. They were even cheaper. They were like $12, I think. But I was like, eh, should I get them? I'm like, just keep them because I only have like, you know, one skirt and two tops that I could see them going with. So I didn't get those. And then they had uh, clearance on underwear. <laughs> so I got some more panties. I hope these are all like hip cut. But, I don't know. I just got what I thought, you know, maybe would work. So this was $12. This must be like a microfiber kind of thing. So this was $240. Um, I don't care. Like, yeah. Victoria's Secret's not all that great anymore. Um, yeah, these were $12 and $360. So, anyways, I just got some panties to re-up the underwear supply. Yes, my ass is really this big. I'm pretty sure. And if it's not, they're cotton and they're going to shrink in the wash. Anyway. And if my ass is not bit that big, my hips are that wide. <laughs> so, um, that concludes my epic shop go haul. And if you have one in your town, and you have a little bit of extra money, and you're looking for housewares, or just like random stuff that you need, now might be a good time to go. Alright, peace out!